Are you having a hard time setting up your product pages? Well then, you've come to the right place. I am Charisma Collins, a content creator and host with Learn with Shopify. Today, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about Shopify product pages and how you can build a successful business with just one product. And it doesn't even have to be yours. First things first, I wanna give you some examples of some really good Shopify store pages. Your product pages are crucial to running a good e-commerce business. They're kinda of like the heartbeat of your store. A product page is where potential customers discover important details, such as the features, benefits, the story, and pricing, and all that good stuff. These pages are where visitors typically decide whether or not to make a purchase. So this is why you wanna spend a good amount of time building out your product pages. Here are some good product page examples. Master and Dynamic has great product pages. There's a simple yet detailed list of the technical specs. There's also several photos with different angles and they have some really cool pop-ups with the latest deals. Dr. Squatch also did a very brilliant job with their product pages. Their pages are designed to persuade buyers to buy multiple things at once. So you can add something like this too, with a build your bundle or subscribe to save option. Next, Holsty has a beautiful product page with outstanding positive reviews and they show it off. They also have brilliant copy and they have a video explaining who they are and what their product is all about. This is a great way to build trust with potential customers. The last one I'm gonna show you today is Lisa. Lisa has tabs that sort product information into benefits, which is so cool. And they offer bonuses and even give a free pillowcase and sheet set if you buy one of their mattresses. It's a really good tactic because they're solving a future problem for their customers. They no longer have to go out and find sheets, they're already gonna have them. So people are gonna feel like they're getting a steal of a deal. And there's a lot that you can do to make your product pages stand out. You can add interactive features, reviews, product comparisons, bundles, and a lot more. And we're gonna get into that soon. It's very important to share how your products solve your customers' problems. Think about this when you're creating your pages. So if you wanna take a further look into these websites, you can actually check the blog below and just go read into them. First, we wanna make sure that your homepage is up to standard. Your homepage is the first thing that people see, so you wanna make sure it's really easy to understand. You also wanna make sure that it represents your brand and it looks beautiful. So once you go into your dashboard, navigate to the online store section and click browse themes. You'll be able to search and find free and paid themes. So browse the theme page until you find something that you like. Dawn is a really great option as it has a very clean look and it's easy to use. And it's also free, which is really nice. Once you've chosen a theme that you like, click customize. This is going to take you to the theme editor. Then select theme settings. Here you can choose colors that represent your branding. You can make as many color schemes as you like. And if you want, you can change the whole style and feel. Next, you can customize your fonts and add your own copywriting. And lastly, you can rearrange the layout using the drag and drop feature. Here you can add sections and make the homepage more dynamic. There's a lot of great tools to play with in the theme editor and I honestly find this part super fun. You can change the alignment, you can change the borders, the buttons, the animations, and a lot more. Once you're happy with your homepage, you can start uploading both physical and digital products. And if you're selling a service, there are Shopify apps that will help you with that too. Nobody is left out here. Let's start with physical products. First, open up the Shopify dashboard and navigate to the product section. This is where we can manage your product listings. Click on add product and create a new listing. Now, fill in the product information. So include vital details such as the product title, the description, the price, the SKU, which stands for stock keeping unit, and the barcode if you have it. Shopify's AI feature, Shopify Magic, can assist in crafting these product descriptions. So if you wanna do that, just click on the little star icon, give it a prompt, and it's going to generate text for you. And while you're adding details, Shopify will show you a preview of how this product page will appear on the web for SEO. You can easily find that preview at the bottom of the page. And guys, when writing the description, think about what people will be looking up on Google to find your product or service. You're gonna wanna input that there. Now, you're gonna wanna upload high quality images and videos to showcase your products. For physical products, include multiple photos and videos from different angles. And if you're looking for a video on how to take great product photos, we have one for you right here. So for managing inventory, make sure to add the stock quantity and choose an inventory policy. 
You can choose to continue selling when out of stock. The other option is to stop selling when out of stock. And this is great for physical products with limited inventory because you don't wanna keep selling if you don't have any to sell. Lastly, set up product variants such as the size, the material, color, or any other fun customizable options. This is a really great way to offer customers more choices and you can add photos for each one of the variants. Now, for those of you who have a lot of products, you can actually bulk upload them using Google or Excel. And this is gonna save you so much time. So here's how you do it. First, prepare your Excel or Google Sheets document with columns for product details like title, description, price, SKU and barcode if you have it, and images in URL format. Lastly, variants and any other important information. If your images are only on your computer in file format, you're gonna need to upload them to Shopify's dashboard under files and convert them to links. Once you do that, you can copy and paste those links into your Excel or Sheets file under images. Next, convert your document to CSV format. That means comma separated values. Then log into your Shopify admin dashboard and navigate to products and then select import to begin the importing process. Once you upload your CSV file containing all that good information, Shopify is going to map the columns from your CSV to the corresponding product fields. So you wanna make sure the mapping is accurate and you can do this by clicking change the order of column headings. And then you can match the fields. So you wanna make sure that title is with title, description is with description, price, barcode, variants, and all of that. After importing your CSV file, make sure to check that the product listings are showing up properly and that all the details and images and variants all look good. And then you can make any edits and adjustments as needed. If you want to upload a digital product, then go to the Shopify app store and type in digital downloads. There are a lot of great apps on there. FileMonk is my personal choice. You can download it and use their free plan to get started. Once you've downloaded it, go to your product page and click on a product. Then select more actions and click on manage digital downloads. You can then upload the digital product file for your customer to download when they make a purchase. You can add one file or you can add several files for each variant of your product. Now you will need to enable email delivery. Head over to the app settings and click enable email delivery. Now it can send emails to your customers for you automatically once they make a purchase. Next, you will want to customize the email it sends out so that it's personalized for your brand. You can add your logo, add your colors, add text, and change the fonts. When you're done with that, click Save Changes, and now FileMonk is set up and your digital product is ready to go. If you want to sell services, I would recommend downloading these apps to your online store. Cowlender for booking appointments on your website, EasyRent for rental or event services, and SignPanda for legally binding contracts right in your storefront using e-signatures. I really like that one. Now, speaking of apps, I actually made a whole video on the best apps to add to your Shopify store. So you can watch that video right after this one. If you wanna make your product pages stand out even more, it is just linked right down below. So now you know how to upload products on desktop, but how can you upload them on mobile? Open the Shopify app on your phone, go to products, then click all products and tap the plus icon. Next, enter a title and all the important details we talked about earlier and click save. Now you can keep uploading your products even when you're on the go. Here's how to find drop shipping products for your store. While the product pages are important, what is most important is choosing the right products. So if you're still on the lookout for some dropshipping products, I would recommend checking out the Shopify dropshipping apps. They make it super easy to find quality dropshipping and print on demand products. And some of them will even help with uploading your product details. It's kind of like a virtual shopping spree. Here are my three picks. So Spocket is great for dropshipping in the US and UK market. AutoDS, you can actually import hundreds of products right into your store at a time. And if you don't like those, you can check out Zendrop. We're gonna use AutoDS. So to upload one item to your store, you can use the AutoDS Helper Chrome extension. Just download it onto your Chrome, click on the extension and choose the store you wanna add it to. Here, you can select your Shopify store. Then choose the region you want to ship to. And lastly, you can choose different suppliers that you want to search for. Now find the product that you would like to upload and click import to AutoDS. The product will then be sent with all of its information to the drafts in the app. In the draft section, you can customize the title, description, variants, images, and anything else to make sure that your product listing is aligned with your brand. Now for the really cool part. You can import products in bulk with all their information using AutoDS. 
On the product page of a supplier site, there should be an auto DS circle. If you want to import all the products on the page, just click on the circle and then click extract. Then click download as a CSV, go to the add products menu in the auto DS app and choose multiple products. Then you can just upload your CSV and it should be in there. Once you have uploaded your CSV, click add as a draft or you can just publish them all right away. But you can see that the products are imported into the draft section so that you can make edits as you need. Once it looks good, click save and import. To make sure everything is looking good in your Shopify store, you're gonna to wanna to head over to the product section where you should be able to see all your imported products, review it and make sure that everything is accurate. Here's a little tip. There's something called the one product method. One product Shopify stores can actually do better than multiple product stores. Unexpected, I know. But this is actually great news because it means that you can just focus on creating one really great product rather than spreading yourself too thin with too many. Wavebeam Pro is a good example of a one product store. They have made the world's first motion sensor headlamp and they have a gorgeous website that makes their product really shine. In a sense, one product Shopify stores make your product seem extra valuable because it has the store all to itself. It shines bright and it isn't dimmed down by other products. Plus, this gives you the opportunity to write copy solely focused on that one product. And it means you can really dial in on the benefits and unique attributes. It's quality over quantity. This is really valuable for social media ads because when the potential customer clicks on the link and goes to the website, the product they saw is right there. They don't need to try and find it and search through and they'll probably be more likely to buy. Let's talk about collections and why they're important. Many of you will likely have more than just one product in your store, so here's how to organize them. You will need to set up collections. Collections are incredibly important because they make the experience pleasant for your customers. Think of your products like art. They each need to shine in their own way. Collections organize your products and make them easy to find and sort through. This way, the right people can find the right things. Buyers freeze when they get bombarded with too many product options at once. Having collections will definitely improve your conversion rates and user experience because you can bundle a bunch of products together, which means you're likely gonna sell more. So for example, if you have a one product store and you're selling candles, it could be a good idea to create collections for different holidays or scents. For example, you could create a collection named the Holiday Collection or another one named Fresh and Fruity or another one named Floral. So you kind of get the idea. Think of collections as a digital sales clerk helping your customers find what they're looking for. Here is how to create collections. Navigate to the product section in your Shopify dashboard and look for the collections button. Next, click on create collection to begin setting up that new collection and enter a title and description so that people have context for what your collection is for. You can manually select products to include by searching and adding them from your product list. Lastly, rearrange the order of products within the collection using the drag and drop by pressing and holding the six little dots at the end of the left line. This will change how they're displayed to customers on your website. So once you set up your collection, save the changes and make that collection visible on your online store. If you have a lot of products in your store and you don't want to organize them all manually, you can create automated collections. You basically set conditions based on certain product attributes such as tags, types, vendors, or variants, and they're all gonna be grouped together. Don't forget to add previews of these collections on your home page so that people can navigate right to them. If you really want to convert more sales, and I mean, who doesn't, here are some ideas to make your product pages stand out from the crowd. Let your customers make a wish list using apps like Wishlist Plus. Most customers don't buy the first time they see your product. They may wanna look around and come back. I am a bit of a wish list addict myself. I'm guilty of adding thousands of items onto my wish list because I actually find it really fun. So I definitely favor companies who have this feature on their site and I'm sure a lot of other customers do too. You can use clear call to actions such as buy now or call us. You wanna make this button big on your store so that people cannot ignore it. Make it colorful and unique so that people really wanna click it. You can upsell. Offer bundles with discounted pricing or add recommended products on your pages. This is ultimately going to increase the lifetime value of your customer. There are actually apps that do all of these things and more on the Shopify app store and they're incredibly easy to set up. 
That is all for Shopify product pages. Our goal is to help new and experienced entrepreneurs thrive in the world of e-commerce. So if anyone you know is looking to start a business and needs some help, make sure to send them our way. Our channel is full of a ton of tips and tricks on all things business. Again, I am Charisma Collins with Learn With Shopify. And if this video was helpful for you, please give it a like and a comment. And I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.